Hey furries and humans, Renny Fox here, and today I want to tell you the story of how I became a furry. Yay! I tried guys, I really did. I wanted to film outside today so we have some good natural lighting, but the weather outside is frightful and the fire in here is so delightful. It's still considered the fall even though it's quite winterous outside. So today we are filming in the comfort of my bedroom. Okay, so my furriness all started when I was really little. I'm really going to show my age here, <laughs> but when I was really little, my aunt, she bought me a whole bunch of Disney movies on VHS, like Robin Hood, and The Rescuers, and Alice in Wonderland, and all those. So yeah, it all started from there, just Disney. <laughs> and then we moved all the way to 2009, when I was a freshman at my high school. This is where I discovered Spat Spare on YouTube. I'm really interested in old appliances and old electronics. And Spatsper has a really cool channel. Spatsper's links will be in the description down below. And on his channel, he started in corporate fursuits. So he showed different ways of washing your fursuit in a washing machine, and washing in a bathtub and stuff, all that kind of stuff. And then he made this really cool fursuit drying machine out of PVC pipe and a blower. And that's where I really discovered fursuits. I thought they were so cool. This is where I really discovered the furry fandom because I started researching. So I found out what a furry was on like, Oh my goodness, I might just be a furry as well. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> I was really closeted about my furriness because in high school there was a lot of bullying and stuff. So at my high school I was kind of popular but not really because we only had 60 people in our class but no one knew that I was a furry. And after I graduated high school, I went on to college and I focused on my studies so I really laid off the furriness a little bit. I know you don't have to have a first suit to be a furry but it was always in the back of my mind like I really want a fursuit. And after graduating from college this past May, I really got back into the fandom again. I started to watch some furry YouTubers, Majira Strawberry, Dojo Dingo, Stormy Full, all the rest. So yeah, this past summer really reawoken my furriness. I really didn't have a fursona in mind, so I started going on some sites where you can buy some fursuits. So I started looking on Furby and the Dealer's Den and such, and I found Rennie on the Dealer's Den. There's a really big story about Rennie, and I want to tell all about him in a future video, okay? So I found Rennie on the Dealer's Den website, and I'm like, oh, I love this fursuit so much. So I bought him in November, and he was shipped, and he just got here three days ago. Yeah, I still live at home with my parents, <laughs> and I came out as a furry in October, and they're really supportive, and that's also another video I also want to make, okay? I hope you enjoy this video, I'm going to have many, many more videos coming out in the near future. So if you like this video, please subscribe down below, and please follow me at Rennie Fox on Twitter. And be sure to click on that little bell down there, so that way I can ring the bell whenever I make a new video, and then you'll be notified, okay? It was really nice talking to you all again. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>